Okay, hello everyone. We're going to go ahead and continue with mathematical induction. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this divisibility, uh, proving sequences to be true using mathematical induction, and also proving inequalities true using mathematical induction. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at divisibility. It's going to be defined as a quotient of two values such that there is no remainder. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at an example here. It says, prove that n cubed plus 2n is divisible by 3 for n is an element of c positive. So again, we go through the very rigorous process and very strict process of solving something using induction, mathematical induction, and we need to show true for n is equal to 1. So if I go ahead and take a look at n cubed plus 2n and I divide it by 3 because we're saying that it's divisible by 3, I should come out with an integer and with no fractional remainders. So I, t I substitute the 1 in for n, and I come up with 3 over 3, and sure enough, I come up with a value of 1, and notice that there are no fractional remainders. So now I'm going to go ahead and assume that n cubed plus 2n over 3 is going to be equal to k, where k is an integer. Okay, and that's going to be any integer, positive integer. Now, what I need to then go ahead and do is I need to show that for the next possible value of n plus 1, that that is also going to be an integer, and I'm going to say that it's actually going to be equal p-value, where again p is going to be an integer. So I can go ahead now and expand this and say that n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1 plus 2n plus 2 divided by 3 is going to be equal to p, and I need to show that this is actually true. So notice that what I need to do again is I need to go ahead and use my assumption. And notice my assumption says n cubed plus 2n divided by 3, and I have the n cubed plus 2n divided by 3 there. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to combine terms and make sure that this n cubed plus 2n comes first, plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 3, divide that by 3 equals p. So what I'm going to do then is separate it into two parts. Here's the given, right? Uh, sorry, not the given, but here's the assumption that we're making in part b of the mathematical induction process. So notice that this part right over here is going to be equal to k. And notice that all of these are, we can factor up a uh, factor of 3. And by doing so then, I cancel out the 3's and I come up with just n squared plus n plus 1. And again, that's going to be equal to p. And now we're done, basically. Because what happens is that as k, n, and p are all integers, there are no fractional remainders whatsoever in this particular expression here. And therefore, the proposition that n cubed plus 2n is divisible by 3 is true. Okay. So that's how we can go ahead and use mathematical induction to test divisibility. Now, in addition to divisibility, we can also go ahead and use mathematical induction to show that sequences as well as inequalities can be true as well. Let's take a look at a particular sequence here, u sub n. And let's say, for example, that u sub 1 is equal to 5, and u sub n plus 1 is going to be equal to u sub n plus 8 n plus 5, for all n, n being a positive integer. Now, what we want to show is that u sub n is going to be equal to 4 n squared plus n. So, again, following the strict rules of induction, we need to show that this is true for n is equal to 1. So, if I go ahead and substitute this value of n is equal to 1 into here, I come up with u sub 1 is equal to 4 times by 1 squared plus 1, which is equal to 5. And sure enough, it says that u sub 1 is equal to 5, and we know that that's to be, that is true. Now, we're going to assume that this is also true, because that's going to be the second step of our process for mathematical induction. And then we need to show that it's true for n plus 1. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take this part right here, and again, I'm going to substitute the n plus 1 for wherever there was an n. And notice that I'm coming out with 4 times by n plus 1 squared, 1 e squared plus n plus 1. And I can then go ahead and expand that. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and use this here to go ahead and find the equality. So the u sub n plus 1 is right here now. It's the u sub n plus 8n plus 5. And what we have then is the right hand side is going to be 4 n squared plus 9n plus 5. Now the u sub n, of course, is what was assumed true, so I can then go ahead and substitute that 4n squared plus n 
for use of n, and we notice that both the left and the right hand side are the same, and so therefore we can conclude that this in fact is true. Now, when it comes to inequalities, let's go ahead and take a look at this particular one here. It says 3 to the n is greater than or equal to 1 plus 2n. For all n, n is an element of z, or the integers, for all integers greater than or equal to 0. So, let's go ahead and show that this is true, or n is equal to 0. That's the first value that we need to go ahead and show. And so what we have is 1 is greater than or equal to 1, and sure enough, that is going to be true. And then we're going to assume that the proposition is true, and then we're going to show that 3 to the n plus 1 is greater than 1 plus 2 times by n plus 1 by using what we've assumed to be true. Now, one of the things that you need to recognize here, again, is where does this appear? Now, the focus, again, is this part because we're looking at the uh, n plus 1 uh, in terms of this 3 to the n. And notice that we can go ahead and write that as 3 times by 3 to the n. So notice that the 3 to the n all of a sudden is appearing again. So, notice that this part right over here is 3 times by 3 to the n is greater than or equal to 2n plus 3. Now, what we're going to do then is from the assumption, we're going to work from the assumption and say that, well, this is what we assume to be true. I need to get it to look at like this form, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. And by multiplying both sides by 3, I'm now going to say that 3 times by 3 to the n is greater than or equal to 3 times over 1 plus 2n. And we know that that is going to be equal to 6n six plus, six plus 3. Now, we know that 6n plus 3 is going to be greater than 2n plus 3 for all values of n, which are integers, and greater than or equal to 0. So therefore, we know that 3 times it by th uh, 3 to the 3, uh, excuse me, 3 to the n plus 1 is going to be greater than or equal to 2n plus 3. And we know then that, again, the proposition is true. So, you can use mathematical induction to prove uh, propositions regarding divisibility, to prove sequences are true, and to also go ahead and show that inequalities are also true. So, we'll take a look at some of these problems and make sure that everybody is clear as to how to go about using the process of mathematical induction to show and prove that these types of conjectures are true. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.